Hi, this is my computer on running on my TV. It's a GTX 1070 and a 4790K, 16 gigs of RAM. It's quite capable. It needs upgrading, but obviously I'm waiting for, you know, what's around the corner, Ryzen and so forth. But anyway, regardless of that, apparently I can experience ray tracing. Now, I've been quite excited by ray tracing. The technology seems pretty impressive, but so far the implementation and the costs, well, I think we all uh, agree that maybe it's not for everyone at the moment. Let's put it that way. It's not mainstream, but it's been enabled for the Pascal GPU. So anything 1060, six gigabytes and above, uh, we can take advantage of it. So I've got a 1070 here. I've updated Windows, I've updated uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I've updated my NVIDIA drivers. And this is the settings that I would normally play on. So it's 1440p, pretty much on medium settings because what I'm after is 60 frames per second. Anything below, unless it's on a console and you've got no choice and you're playing the exclusives on the PlayStation, I mean, really on a PC, you want 60 frames per second. That's the bare minimum. So these are the settings that allow me to have 60 FPS. But what we're going to do is we're going to activate ray tracing. And what we've got, medium, high and ultra. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put it on high because high is effectively medium. Everything else, all my other settings are on medium settings. And uh, we're going to run the benchmark and let's see what we've got. Hopefully we're going to get some half decent results. To be honest, I'm not expecting too much. Right, let's see what happens. Okay, we're up and running and hold it. We've got 20 frames per second. Not even a console enthusiast would accept 20 frames per second. And I have to admit, I can't really see that much difference in the, in the lighting. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, right, hold it. Maybe we'll get better results at 1080p. Uh, maybe we're asking a bit too much of the older Pascal architecture. So 1080p medium settings, I mean, we're going to get really playable results, I think. So oh, that's a little bug that I found. When ray tracing is enabled, it literally chucks you out of the game when you exit out of the benchmark. So that needs to be addressed. Okay, so we're back in the game and the first thing we're going to do is change the resolution down to 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, ray tracing is still on. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to put ray tracing onto medium, which is its lowest setting. At least that way we can get ray tracing and it's going to be performing really well. Okay, so let's run the benchmark. And bearing in mind at 1080p I'm getting close to 100 frames per second uh, with my graphics card. So let's see what, what happens here. Exciting stuff. Right, we're off. And um, what well, the good news is we're above 30 frames per second. Okay, so it doesn't look as good uh, at 1080p. And to be honest, I can't really tell the difference with the lighting. Maybe a little bit down here on the floor. Yeah, it looks maybe slightly, slightly better. But we're at 45 frames per second. 50, to be honest. At 1080p, I'd really want 60 frames per second. But I suppose, you know, console gamers, they're happy with 30 frames per second and I play 30 frames per second on my PlayStation, which is right here. So uh, this section of the demo probably isn't as taxing, the forest scene. And we're getting well over 60 frames per second. So we're currently at around 85 frames per second. That's actually not bad. 
So, you know, there is hope. Okay, so this is the next section of the benchmark. This is the bit that I'm interested in. At the moment, this bit isn't very taxing. As you can see, we've got 130 frames per second. But when we get down to the village, that is pretty much representative of the in-game um, visuals. So we're going to see how it performs. If it can't perform very well in this village area, then there's no hope, to be honest. Okay, a bit of fast forward in just to get things moving. And we are now in the village and we are once again down to 35, 38 frames per second. Do you know what? I, I think I've come up with a conclusion here. If you want console-like gaming, 1080p, but with ray tracing, then you could probably get away with it. Um, personally, I'm going to stick with 1440p, ray tracing off, 60 frames per second. Uh, yeah, I'm not impressed. As a matter of fact, I think that's f Right, okay, uh, I've had enough of this. Uh, I'm not impressed. Uh, video ends here. Um, I think you probably already knew the results, but I just wanted to check it out for myself. And um, yeah. I think ray tracing has got a future, but it's not right now. Unless you want to spend loads of money, and I don't.